Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome back to another video. Um, so this is one that I really enjoy doing. This is uh, one of my Crimson Rain um, customs. Uh, and this right here is one that uh, kind of, not kind of, but I wanted to re-image Crimson Rain as if he was in the, uh, the Star Wars universe. Um, my son kept calling him a, a Sith, but he is not a Sith. He would actually line more with the Jedi, not quite maybe be on the council or anything, but um, or follow their rules exactly, but he'd be more on the Jedi side. He's definitely a light side character. Um, but uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. I'd use the uh, TBL League uh, Fison body, uh, not just body, use the, the head and everything else. Um, but what I did, I take this cloak off, which is a fully wired cloak. Um, which is great because I can get a lot of play out of it. Um, but for the uh, body, I mean, for the head, I actually shaved the hair off, uh, grinded it off and everything, then shaved, uh, then sanded it down. Um, and then I used putty for the nose, cheekbones, and for the beard. Um, okay, yes, those who know me, yes, this does look pretty close to me, but so does Crimson Rain. I made Crimson Rain back when I was 14 years old, so... Uh, I made them to look kind of like me back then, so I don't, didn't see a reason to change that now. Um, and that's my flagship character. Um, I got the, uh, like I said, the cloak from GPS Lots, the shirt. I don't remember where I got the pants from. The belt is from Zartan. I took this belt from Zartan, and I think I took the, um, oh, what is it? Uh... This band here, I took this from, uh, uh, what's his name? Snake Eyes. Um, and since it doesn't go all the way around because I had to cut it off with Snake Eyes, I actually used Putty to uh, make this band here in between to kind of make it connect. Um, and then use that also to create a button on it. Use Putty for the button. Uh, this here, this gauntlet comes from uh, the NECA, who is it? NECA, uh, doggone, what's the name? Predator. Uh, the straps, I just cut these straps. It, I mean, I, it was kind of tedious, but I mean, hey, it's, it's what you do when you're customizing. But cut a bunch of individual straps wrapped around. Uh, same for the legs. Um, cut those wrapped in around the, uh, the legs as well. Um, and then added the boots to it. So, um, but this was, this originally this character was supposed to be a superhero. <laughs> I was going to use a... Uh, I had the shirt and the pants to match, and it just did not work out. And so I decided to convert it to being a Jedi character. Um, and I, I really enjoyed this came out. These, uh, the lightsabers are from, I think they were Darth Maul's, because uh, he had two that, um, he had his lightsabers that were, uh, uh, what is it? The uh, non-activated lights, so just the lightsaber handles. So I took those, glued those on here. Um, and the the thought pro process behind that was, uh, I always create backstories anytime I create a character. Um, but the process behind that was that these are from Fallen Jedi. Not that he killed, of course, but they're more like friends that he um, carries them in honor of them. Um, as far as his weapons, he has these two uh lightsabers so let me see if i can so i did a um get see how close i can get um i actually did a um wash over both of these because i wanted to look a little more well a little closer to these as far as like having more high-end look to them and not look um I mean, you know, the ones that come in Hasbro, they're not bad, but they look different from the figure arts ones. Uh, these are figure arts lightsabers. It's on his belt, and down here on his belt. Um, so let me bring that closer too. So if you see, they don't look too much different from the figure arts version now after putting the watch, hitting them with that watch. So uh, same for his belt. I actually use a watch on the belt because uh, I think this was initially a black belt. And I wanted the brown because I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to look quite so Sith like. Plus, I wanted to bring a little red. It's, uh, it's not brown, but it's a, it's a, I use a black red. That's what it is. Uh, metallic, not metallic, but um, uh, acrylic paint. And then I went over it with a wash, 
uh, to kind of give it a little more of a leather type look to it. Um, the same for the bands. These bands were straight black. Um, and I used the same uh, black, red, or red, black, can't remember which one, uh, to actually go over them. Um, I had to use a lot of glue to get these to stick to. Um, but then I went over with the, um, uh, with the, wa not the wash, but the um, black, red acrylic paint to, let me turn this down here more so you can see. There we go. Um, acrylic paint to give more of a weathered look because I didn't want it to be just a straight color, but I wanted them to have a weathered look like he's been traveling for a bit. Um, and I think I achieved that. So um, I also painted these hands because he's like a like all crimson. Well, no, that's a lot. It's not like all crimson. This particular crimson, Crimson Rain, is able to shoot... Um, more like a, a red electricity from his hands, um, which matches the eyes. Uh, anytime they activate their powers out, well, just not when they activate, but when they're when they're in their more crimson type form, their their eyes do glow red. Um, and uh, so this this is more like the electricity that would be coming from his hands. So I I got I made I don't know what I did with them, but I made some uh, power effects to actually go with them. Well, that's a lot. I painted the power effects. I didn't make them. Uh, to go along with it, but I wanted to go over the hand so it kind of seemed like he's shooting the, the power out. Um, but so let's put this back on here because I really like how he looks with the cloak on. That's another thing, too. Even the hood is let me see if I can get this to go back. I love how uh, they actually have the wired hood on it because I can't have the hood where it just lays straight back on them. Um, Let's just curve this around. I want to look like the wind's blowing. So, I mean, it looks nice either way it go. Whether I have the hood up, have the hood down, it still works. Um, let me let me just go ahead and take him off screen and put these lightsabers in his hands. Um, but this, I, I had so much fun actually making this. Once I got past the point of thinking I might have made a mistake doing this. But, uh, I mean, but that, I'm, I'm kind of like that with most of my characters. I get to a point where I kind of think, like, maybe I should not have done this. I should have just left it as is, you know, or maybe just bought a character. But that's how you look. This is how um, he would look having a lightsaber in his hand. I'm, and I'm, I'm, I really like how it turned out. Uh, I got a couple more things I'm working on. Uh, one is like more like a tactical version. Um, and another is my my character from Red Dead that I'm using my Crimson Rain character for. So um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, hit like, subscribe, share it, and I will see you on the next one. Hey, Crimson, run it up.